Well, today is the day. I'm finally going to get the grow outs out of the cage with their parent, or with their mother anyway, and get them into these grow out pins that I built. I'm going to show you kind of how I did this because it's a pretty simple setup actually. Um, I got to work out a roof for it yet. I'm not, you know, just something kind of temporary to, to house them in. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'll figure it out here shortly. Uh, but first, I got to get a whole bunch of stuff cleared out because I need to. We're at the sunniest part of the day right now, so it's a good time for me to come out here and look. And I can see I'm gonna I'm gonna have another structure just like this, and I can see one of them I can fit right back in here. I just got to clear out a little bit of brush right there, and it stays pretty shady. And then one of them back there, back behind, which will make more sense once I you know get this all cleared out a little bit. Uh, there's a ton of poison ivy all through here, so I'm gonna go through with the weed eater weed eat all that poison ivy and all the brush back and then i'm going to go shower and clean up real quick so i don't get poison ivy and come back out here and get all hot and sweaty again but you know it is what it is you got to do that um but it's just full of poison ivy i mean it's nothing but poison ivy back there so i got to clear out some brush i got to get the weed eater out i got to weed eat all this stuff and then uh we'll get to it let me bring you and show you how i built these these are actually my old rabbit cages uh that my bucks were in um, I let me back up just a minute. I bought pre-made cages uh, instead of building new grow-out pins, and the reason I did that is because I went to uh, you know I priced getting some wire to build new grow-out pins, priced it at several different places, and the price of wire has gone up. It was incredibly expensive to buy the amount of wire I would need to build four cages, and uh, Tractor Supply had the uh, is it the Dumore Rabbit Cage on sale, the 36 by 30 Rabbit Cage on sale. For $39 so to get four of those it was it was like $20 more to get four pre-made cages than it was to buy the wire and make the cages myself so I'll pay somebody $20 to not have to cut a whole bunch of wire and J clip it all together these things just pop together they're super easy they're actually pretty good I kind of like them I'll bring you around here real quick we'll show you kind of what I'm working with and then uh, I don't know, like I said, I gotta clear out some room here, I gotta get these cages tucked in there, build a little roof for them or something, but we'll get the, the grow up pins all, all set up and you'll get to see them at the end too. But let's go take a look at what I've got uh, going on right now. Okay, so this is the basic stand I built and it's built out of two inch PVC. I had a whole bunch of this two inch PVC somebody gave me. Um, so I thought, well, I gotta figure out a way to use it. It doesn't cost me anything. And uh, basically I just zip tied it. You can see I zip tied the cage right there to a leg of PVC. I put a piece of uh, what I call plumber's tape, uh, like a hose clamp type thing on there. And I put a screw through it right there and that helps provide support, keeps the cage from falling up and down. Although it didn't want to slide too much anyway. And it also holds it tight so I don't have to worry about it coming apart or anything like that. And I just did that on the four corners and this one in the middle, they actually share a post. Let me back up so you can see. These two cages right here share that middle post and then there's posts on the end. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's how they're all attached. I mean, you can see I just put zip ties up here. That probably would have worked down here as well. Um, I put one cage there, one cage right there, because this one's more in the middle. This one's more at the bottom to hold it. Um, it doesn't really matter. It was just I couldn't put two right there together. You know, I'd have to go, I can't go over one. You know, it wraps around. I pulled it as tight as I could, put a screw in it. Hopefully that makes sense. Probably could have used zip ties down here. I was a little worried about the rabbits chewing on them down here, so I just used them up here. They actually worked pretty well with just zip ties. It wasn't wanting to slide or anything, but I wanted the extra security of putting a screw in it to keep it from, like the cage, from sliding down the pole um, as it goes. And this is pretty light. I can pick it up myself and move it around. So I'm going to build one more just like it um, and put it probably, like I said, in that area back there. It's probably pretty dark on camera because... There's a big contrast between the bright sunny spot over here and the shady spot over there, but I don't think I can fit two of them back there, so I'm going to work on this area right here and carve out a section for the one grow out pin to go right in there, and uh, I think that'll work just fine. Here's the new cage. Um, I traded out. This is the, uh, let me back up just a little bit. I don't even know if you can see the cage now that I look at it because you're probably just seeing through it, but these are nice. I'll get... I'll give you a closer view whenever I, I get one more out. Uh, they don't, there's no J clips. They go together real easy, nice and sturdy. Um, I got the bucks traded out. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is get this cage behind me set up, move these babies off, and then trade the does out into new cages here. So I got a little bit of work to do. Um, 
I don't know, I'll show you bits and pieces. You don't need to watch me run a weed eater the whole time or anything like that. So we'll come back as soon as uh, there's something interesting to show. You know, just to start off, I think what I'll do is try to get the uh, actual brush out. This is a dead limb. It needs to be cut down anyway. It's just hanging down. So that alone is going to open up a lot of space. There we go. But do that first because, like I said, there's just poison ivy everywhere. And uh, once I get into the poison ivy, I'm going to have to go shower afterwards. And I think I'll just cut off one or two of these, get them out of the way. And that does open up quite a bit. I may have to do the same here. I don't want that hanging in the cage, getting in the way of the cage. So. So it's just clearing brush right now. Like I said, nothing too terribly exciting. Let me just work, get this done. I'll come back with you once it is, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I got it done. <laughs> it wasn't that hard, actually. It was actually a lot easier than I expected. I was able to get the mower in here and mow a good portion of this before I had to weed eat, but I did have to end up weed eating quite a bit. A lot of poison ivy. By the way, if you don't have a pair of rubber boots you know don't forget you can get a discount off of high C root rubber boots uh, they're great they're fairly affordable well they're actually way more affordable than most boots like this and you can get a discount code there is a discount link in the description down below so check that out if you need a pair they're perfect for this kind of thing put them on protect your legs while you're weed eating mowing doing yard work whatever so got this all cleared off tuck this little cage back here I think it's gonna work pretty well there may be about an hour of the day that the sun kind of hits it, kind of dappled sun through there, but that's about it. So once I get something over the top of it to, to give them a little bit of rain protection, that'll give them a little bit of extra shade as well. I think they're going to do just fine here. It's just a grow out pin. And I'll tuck the other one right back there, and I think I'm going to be fine. So uh, I got to go shower. I weeded a whole bunch of poison ivy, so I got to go scrub it all off of me. I'm going to go do that, change clothes, and I will be back out here. We'll get back at it. All right, all cleaned up and ready to get all sweaty and hot again, but kind of had to do it, like I said. I'm not real sensitive to poison ivy, but every, I mean, that's how I handle it. I weed eat it down and then go in and shower afterwards, scrub real good with a kind of an abrasive, you know, not a super abrasive, but like a, a you know, a wash thing, whatever you call those things, you know, that's kind of abrasive, scrub down any parts of my skin that are bare and I haven't had poison ivy in years I mean I don't in fact I've never really had a bad outbreak of poison ivy the most I've ever gotten is like maybe three little bumps on my finger or something like that it's not been that bad I'm not real sensitive to it but that can change you know you can be not sensitive to it at all and then all of a sudden boom be sensitive to it so I'm not taking any chances go in shower scrub down I never end up breaking out with poison ivy and Hopefully I don't this time because I just said on camera that I don't. And, you know, that's probably Murphy's Law. I'll break out with poison ivy. But, you know, who knows? Anyway, we're ready to uh, get going on this project. I don't know how, I don't know if I'm going to get this completely finished today, but I'm probably going to get at least the cage stands built. Um, if you were going to do the same thing, you know, PVC is probably not the absolute cheapest route to go, but these were free. I, I didn't pay for these pipes. I've had them sitting around for a while. Somebody asked me a while back if I wanted them, and I said, yes, I do. I'll find a use for them, and uh, this is what I came up with. So uh, give me a minute here. Um, let me get situated, and um, I'll show you the new cages that I bought and uh, how I'm going to work this out. All right, so these are the cages that I bought. The Dumore, they're from Tractor Supply. These are They were $39, $39 a piece. Strange thing was, too, I went to uh, pick them up. They didn't have them in stock. I had to order them, and uh, when I went to order them, I, I, online, they wanted, a, I don't know, it was like $175 shipping. I thought, well, I'm not going to do that. That's ridiculous. I was going to have them shipped to the store. So I went into the store to talk to them because uh, they had some rabbit cages in stock. I wanted to see what they had. They didn't have these. They had 30 by 30. I wanted the 36 by 30, by 30 cage. And, uh, oh, where was I going with this story? Oh. And anyway, they told me, they said, well, they didn't have them. I said, well, could you get them in stock? Because it wanted to charge me, you know, $150 to, to ship them. And they said, well, we just ordered basically on what we sell. I said, well, I'll buy them. I just need them ordered. Well, they went and checked, and it was going to cost $175 to ship them to the store. 
but then they switched it to ship it to my house. Free shipping to my house. So it worked out all right. I got free shipping. I don't know why it was free to the house, but cost money to ship to the store. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, ugh, get it out of the box. Anyway, so I got these cages, uh, $39 a piece. Like I said, it ended up being about 20, maybe $25 more than, than buying wire and building the cages myself. Cause you can't buy the exact amount of wire you need. I'd have to overbuy some of it, you know, and all that. But that was gonna be about $20 less if I was gonna buy the wire and build it myself. But honestly, it's worth $25 not to have to cut wire and not to have to, um, to put J clips on. Let me back up a little bit. We'll show you kind of how these go together. It's pretty easy. They just unfold. There's little clips on the side. I'll bring you in close and show you these here in just a minute, but let me get it all kind of situated, show you how I put it together, and then, uh, then we'll bring you in close. And there's just little hooks built on. You'll see them here in a minute. And um, you just one, one goes this way, one goes that way. So you just kind of weave the wire in there. It's pretty easy. I'll show you up close here in just a minute how it works. And uh, I guess that's it. Really. So they just hook on there. That one hooks on there. Why is it not hooking on there? Uh. The door's open on this one. Close the door. Might make it a little bit better. All right, and then uh, the top. Top goes on, same way, it just kind of hooks right there. Now there's a uh, over under uh, kind of, like I said, hook fashion to the way it works. So give me just one minute, let me get it on there. You can see real time putting one of these cages together. And just work your way around, get the hooks in the right place. And once you get them all on, it's uh, pretty sturdy. Make sure I'm not losing any of them. And there we go. It's put together. And it's, I mean, it's put together. So let me bring you in closer. I'll kind of show you how that works. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. All right, so, I mean, this is kind of hard to show on camera because when well, you see right through the wire, but anyway, there's th this is how it works all the way around. You've got this one hook that hooks over and this one that hooks over that way. So it kind of weaves over and back under the next one, if that makes sense. And it just does that all the way around. But uh, here's the cage. It's got a nice, uh, I can't grab it on the camera. There we go. Whoops, it's coming off the, I gotta fix the door. It needs to be hooked back on. But anyway, it's got a nice door on it, opens up. Let me fix that. I'll put it back together. And then uh, I gotta cut a hole in it for the um, for the feeder. So I've cut one or two. I've already done this a couple of times, so I know, I mean, the feeder's gonna go right here. So I gotta cut, right there is where I'm gonna cut it. I don't want it, yeah. Right there, and I am cutting, well, it's right at the edge of one of these clamps that go over the sides, so I think it'll be fine. I don't think, it's basically welded in two spots, and I'm cutting off one of them. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but um, we'll find out if, over time if that starts to fail, and if it does, I'll just put a J-clip on it right there and hold it together. Um, but I think we're gonna be okay with that. Let me take a look at the other cage, see how I did that, make sure. Okay, so basically I just got to, I mean, this is just like here, let me bring you in close. I don't know how well you can see this because i um, working with the, uh, you know, wire, I mean, you just see right through it, so. But I'm cutting there and there, and I got to cut this one here. This is cutting two wires at a time, so it's a little bit tricky. Not real easy to do. There we go, got it. And then I gotta do the same thing up above. Uh. 
I can't, I can't, I gotta walk around the other side. I can't do it from this side. Get a better grip on it. That is hard to cut. There we go, got it. All right, so there's that. Let's see, I cut across, I need to cut here. And here, and then there, and make sure I'm doing this right. I think right there is it. That should, yep, came right out. That's good. Set that over. And then it's still a little bit of a trick to get that in there. It's got to go in just, I mean, it's a tight fit, which is fine. I mean, just put, it makes a little bit of a trick to get it in there, but not too bad. And um, it's not going to really come out, so it should be good. Hook the hooks on the side. I can't grab a hold of that hook. That's irritating. There we go. That's it. Got it on there. We'll uh, work on moving some rabbits next. So give me just a minute, we'll get back right back with you. All right, so here's my plan. I'm gonna move these rabbits out of this pen into the new cages, and then I'm gonna take this cage out, replace it with that cage that I just put together, because I'm gonna give the nicer cages to my breeders and use the older ones for the grow outs, because they're not in them forever anyway, so it makes sense. And then, uh, then I'll do the same thing with the other one. I'll switch them out, and then once I get all the cages set up, all the grow out pins set up, then I'll start separating all my babies, male and female and all that kind of stuff. So right now it's just a matter of moving these guys over to the other pin. So get water bowls out of here. These guys go through so much water, it's crazy. All right. Jumpy little rabbits right now. There's one. We got a whole bunch more to go. Okay. You can. There we go. There we go. Keep that. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Come here. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Don't kick. There you go. See, that's not so bad. These guys are pretty mellow. They don't mind being handled, like touched. They don't like being picked up so much. They get a little jumpy when you pick up. Don't scratch me, don't scratch me, please. There you go, there you go, it's okay. A little nervous, weren't they? To the front. Come here, come here. Oh, come here, come here. There we go. Don't scratch. Oh, quick kicking. Thank you. It wasn't so bad. All right. And then uh, just a matter of switching cages out. really isn't too hard. These are just hung. They got a wire on the front of them. Twisted around. They're hung on hooks in the back. I've shown it before, but it's uh, let's get, get rid of this feeder for a minute so I don't have to worry about it spilling everywhere. Then it just lifts off these hooks in the back. There we 
go. Rabbit fur in my nose. <clears throat> and then we're gonna trade it out. Put this one up the same way. There's hooks in the back there that I gotta get these uh, get this to set on. Oh, it came undone. That's the first time that's happened. Actually, did it come undone? No, it did not. Yes, it did. Yep, the whole lid's falling apart. I just gotta fix that real quick. It's the first time that happened. The other two held up just fine. Now, let's try that again. some food in there. We'll get Mama back in there. Is, but I'll figure that out later. Well, something down there. No, don't kick. Don't kick. Oh, please don't kick. There you go. There you go. Whew. All right, all situated with that one. I need to do it one more time. I gotta put another cage together, get those rabbits moved out of there, switch that one back out. You guys don't need to watch me. I'll be back when I'm done with that. I'll show you how I put this together real quick. I put the first one together real quick and let me make sure I'm situated right. So uh, start with a couple of zip ties. Right up here at the top, just go right through the corner of the cage. I'm gonna scoot that PVC pipe down just a little bit. I'm not gonna cinch this all the way down just yet. I'm just gonna kinda get it situated so it doesn't, so the pipe doesn't fall off. I'll show you why here in just a second. I just picked a random number out of the top of my head, but I measured basically two inches. So I want the top of this PVC pipe to be two inches above that cage. And there's no reason I picked two inches. That's just what I picked. Just, I don't know why, honestly. But um, I just want to make it all uniform, all the same, all the way around so it sits fairly level. So let me get this pipe situated. So measure it a little short. Right there is two inches. So then move that zip tie, make sure it's at the top of the cage, if that makes sense. You don't want it down here lower, hopefully I'm making sense. You don't want it down here because then it can slip up and down. You want it at the very top because all the pressure is going to be pulling down. 
So, let me move it. Why is it not moving? I must have got it a little too tight. Oh, I think I screwed up my placement, but oh well. I'll measure again. Yep, that was a little bit on the high side. Okay, there's two inches. So now, get that zip tie and just crank it down so I got about as tight as I can get it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side real quick. Dang it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now, I'm going to take this plumber's tape, well, what I call plumber's tape. I'm not sure what it's actually called. Now, this is one that's got baby saver wire on it. I can't go through here because it, it just won't fit. So I'm just going to go up a little bit. It doesn't matter, really. And cut off enough and go around this pipe and overlap, which should be yeah, right, right in there should be plenty. A pair of tin snips to cut it with. drill ready with a screw and I'm just using a little metal to metal screw even though I'm screwing into PVC and then situate that let me double check my height oh don't fall over right there is good out. What I want to do is just pull that about as tight as I can pull it. And I just pinch it off with my thumb and put a screw through it. Uh oh, drop my screw. Dadgummit. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I got four legs, two on each side. So I'm going to put the next level cage on there. And basically, just gonna where's the And then it's basically the same thing. The only difference really is um, I gotta offset things a little bit because you can't run a zip tie right on top of another zip tie. I'd have to run it just underneath it. But oops, let's jump right. Sorry, I'm probably blocking the camera, aren't I? I think it would be easier to go this way. Like that. There we go. Let's see if we can get it around. It's a little tricky. Let's get it just around the pipe. I don't necessarily need to go through the other cage. There we go. Got it. And this one, 
I don't need to measure because I'm just measuring it based on the other cage that's there. Where's my pliers? Get my pliers on this zip tie so I can pull it a little tighter. There we go, that's tight. And then, um, I mean, it's just the same thing. I'm just going to cut another piece of this plumber's tape, fish it through here, probably down here so it's not on top of that one, and uh, screw it on. Tighten it up and screw it on. Do that on each side. Let me get that down. I'll be right back with you. This third part's way up in the air, so I'll show you what I do. Basically, once I get these on, I'm just going to stand it up because it'll stand up, and then I'll put, a, put the legs on to stand it up. I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so I got four legs on it. Now I can stand it up. I'm going to get on the other side. I've got more, more places to grip. A little bit easier. And then it's just a matter of uh, hooking these two on on this side, but I can do it with it standing up. But it's the same process. I don't know if you can even see me in camera. Let me double check. Yeah, I think you can. So again, all right. So again, I start with two zip ties. We go right here at the corner. bugs crawling on me, driving me crazy. I'm having a hard time getting this zip tie to go where I want it to go. I'm going to do it with my pliers. I bet I can grab it with those. It should not be that hard. There we go. Got it. Pick reef. Was way too hard. Let's see if I measure down. Way too two inches. That's tight. One more on the other side. Measure that. Almost. That's right there. That's two inches. go and then cut two more pieces of plumber's tape wrap them around screw them together I mean, you get the idea that's all there is to this really now I got to figure out a roof for these um, I haven't figured out exactly how I want to do that yet it wouldn't take much honestly you could build a couple of um, situated perfect but anyway wouldn't take much to build um, just a I mean you just put it on posts and they slip right down inside these pipes you can just set it on top. It wouldn't take much at all to do that. I may do something like that. I may, I don't know, I may just string tarps over it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that just yet. I don't have to worry about that so much tonight. We don't have any rain in the forecast for a couple of days. They should be fine without it, but, uh, but I'll get it done pretty quick. I'm not going to let them go without a roof for too long. All right, let me get this done. I'll come back to you. 
Well, I did something boneheaded. I got that other cage all together, got it all situated, and I put one of the cages on upside down. So I got to take it apart, <laughs> put it back on the right way, flip it over, and put it on the right way. I'm not going to mess with it tonight. I'm getting tired. It's getting not terribly late. Got other things I need to get done. These guys are situated enough for now. Uh, they'll be fine tonight. I may go get a tarp and drape over the top of it, like I said, but I, I think I'm good for tonight. So, don't know how I'm going to work out the, the roof on it yet, but I mean, there's lots of different options I could do. None of them are all that complex. You can probably figure it out for yourself. You know, like I said, you could, you could I got more PVC pipe. I don't have any T's or anything, but I could go get some T's and just build a kind of a little bit of a frame right there. I've got plenty of sheet metal I could cut down and build a roof over it. Um, so I may do that. Um, I may do something even simpler. I don't know. I mean, they're just grow out pins. They're not going to be used terribly long, but I think they're going to work. I mean, you can see it's not the absolute sturdiest thing in the world, but it's not bad. It's not, I mean, they're, they're moving around and it's not rocking too bad. I don't know how well you can see them moving around, um, but it's, it's doing okay. It's holding up. Do they have food or they out of food? I got to give them food. Um, but anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Just showed you something that I wanted, or just wanted to show you something, I should say, um, that I kind of came up with for a quick grow out pin. And I uh, tell you about the deal on, I mean, it used to be, it was way cheaper if you're going to build multiple cages, way cheaper to buy wire and build your cages than it was to buy pre-made cages. But it doesn't seem to be that way, at least not for right now. And I'm pretty happy with these cages. They, uh, they look pretty sturdy. The, uh, the rabbits look happy in them. Everything looks good. So, uh, you know, like I said, it cost me about $25 more than building my own cages. But that's significantly easier than cutting all that wire, J-clipping it all together. And uh, they look like they're going to hold up well. So I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless.